Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called New Benchmark which wants you to own and drive the 2019 Ferrari 4A8 Fiesta. Now I know that we have been having some issues with Forzathons over the past few weeks uh, and there has unfortunately not been a new hotfix come out to fix any of the issues that we've been experiencing so potentially there might be some with this Forzathon. But nevertheless let's get stuck in and this is the car that you want to be using so it will set you back 320,000 credits from the auto show or you can buy one from the auction house or potentially win one from a wheel spin. Now I have also created a tune for you guys to use, so it's called Forzathon and the share code is 959337848, sorry, and that should hopefully help you out with a few of the challenges. Now the first challenge here wants you to earn 5 ultimate speed skills, which is super easy to do. So if you just head over to the motorway, this is going to be the best place to get them, and by the time you're halfway down the motorway you'll have completed this. Now for those who don't know, an ultimate speed skill is when you're basically hitting uh, speeds of above 190 mile an hour, so that then it will pop up with ultimate speed, preferably over 200 and just hold it there. And as you can see here, I'm already on the third ultimate speed skill in a matter of what, 15, 20 seconds. And to get five of them, it literally takes 30 seconds. Super quick, super easy challenge doing it this way. Um, and hopefully the tune should help out there as well. Now the next challenge here wants you to win three road racing series events. Now like the cross country one a couple of weeks ago, it doesn't say whether you want to do a sprint or a circuit, but last time the only way to complete it was by doing a circuit race. So I've cr uh, created a blueprint for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon Easy and it's one lap with no AI driver tars. The share code is 110376804, that's again available for you guys to use. Now if this doesn't work I purposely picked one of the shorter circuits so you can always just go into a standard three lap race and set it to whatever difficulty you want. Obviously this is a Forzathon so it doesn't need to be on highly skilled driver tires, you can do it on easy or whatever but hopefully this should work but again it relates back to the issues with the Forzathons uh, and playground games not fixing it yet so who knows with this one, who knows. <laughs> Anyway, the final challenge here wants you to earn three daredevil skills. Now again, this is really easy. So a daredevil skill is three near misses in quick succession. Now, first of all, I recommend going into Horizon Solo mode. The reason for this is because there is plenty more AI driver tars in the world when you go online, uh, when you go in solo, sorry, compared to online. And then head over to the motorway again where you did your first challenge. And as you can see here, the world is massively populated by AI cars and other AI racers as well. So it's much easier to get near miss skills. Online, it's a bit more barren and desolate, so there's not many cars to get near miss skills from, especially three in a row in very quick succession. Now you don't have to get ultimate near miss skills or awesome near miss skills to get the daredevil chain pop up, just normal near misses. So even if you're just doing 100 mile an hour to take it steady, then if you get three normal near miss skills in a row, you'll get the daredevil one pop up. And just there you saw that was pretty much all of them completed. So again, this challenge will take you 30 seconds, maybe a minute. But it's a super, super easy challenge to complete, especially, like I said, when you're in solo mode and there's a lot more AI driver cars uh, and AI pedestrian cars to get the near miss skills on. Whereas obviously when you're online, there's a very few AI pedestrian cars, but also when you sort of near other players, they, they go sort of see through and, and you just drive right through them. So you won't get any near miss skills from them that way. Now if you are experiencing any issues with any of these challenges this week, let me know down below in the comments. I will try my best to help you guys out. Obviously I know pretty much every week there has been issues with whichever various Forzathon challenge. Hopefully this week is different, but you never know. So if you are experiencing any trouble, just let me know down below in the comments and we'll see if we can find a fix for that. But if you are as well, also don't forget you can contact the Forza support team on Twitter um, to report any issues. But obviously there's quite a lot going around at the minute, so I don't know if it will be pushed to the back of the pile or not. Who knows, maybe we'll have a hot fix this week, next week, you don't know. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I hope this did help you out. Um, if it did, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.